Alcohol sales are banned today through till midnight, in the second day as Thailand celebrates the start of the Buddhist Lent. The holiday for Thais, though, goes on through till Tuesday night, as they were extended as a part of the make-up for Songkran cancellation. That means, of course, that all government offices will be closed until Wednesday morning. The government reported five new cases of Chinese COVID virus on Sunday, all discovered in arrivals from overseas and in quarantine. Those ill had arrived from the United States, Kuwait, India and Japan, and none had showed symptoms on arrival, indicating that they'd not long had the virus when they arrived here. The Thai Alcohol Beverage Business Association is working to dissuade the government from banning alcohol sales online, this as they see sales possibly dwindling. The ban's being mooted currently to prevent apps, websites, shopping services and more from delivering booze, as we're told there's a concern about underage drinkers. The Thai Animal Protection Association has urged the Commerce and Agricultural Ministries to issue a clarification to British retailers about the use of monkeys harvesting coconut. This is global rumours of mistreatment of monkeys here, used traditionally to climb coconut trees, check for ripeness and drop the nuts to the floor, has led to a ban on sales in many European stores, as the usual footage of cruelty in some instances made headlines. Reality is, of course, that many of these apes are treated as pets and they can clear many more trees than machinery or men with ladders. It's a Thai tradition, but now the latest target for PETA. More than 2 million people alone use public transport to travel to their provincial homes and elsewhere, as roads from the capital were bumper to bumper on much of Friday and Saturday. The long weekend ends tomorrow, and we'll see tailbacks again for sure. Travellers from Thailand to the UK have been added to a shortlist there of dangerous COVID hotspots. Not good news for those returning to the UK, as a two-week quarantine is in place for them, albeit in their homes. It's assumed that Britain, which has a serious COVID issue and is on the Thai hot list, has added this country to theirs as a reciprocal, albeit daft, response. Either way, flights have always been available for returnees from here to the UK, with either as one flying regularly at 18 to 20,000 baht per ticket and plenty of empty seats. Well worth considering as the end of the visa amnesty is approaching at the end of the month with no news of any confirmed extension. Meanwhile at home and in Patia, and a 33-year-old Russian woman has been arrested after police discovered a scene too grim to describe in detail on air. Suffice to say that a one-and-a-half-year-old child was discovered in the condo, mutilated and dead. The mother then, it appears, jumped from her balcony but survived. The low-story apartment resembled a horror movie scene. Police were called after she was discovered below. A routine check of the room led to the discovery. She blames the events on her husband. But no other person was found near the room and police are checking CCTV. Patia expected record numbers of domestic tourists this weekend but instead saw the succumbit busy but with many using it as a conduit to other areas. The city itself was quiet on Friday night. Saturday saw a slight increase in traffic, and overall many businesses saw at least a decent footfall. As businesses return to normal, or as close as they can be, so the food lines fed by expat and their staff are dwindling, leaving many who remain unemployed without a source of nutrition. The big question now is, as the non-ties stop, when will the authorities step in to take over? and look after feeding thousands daily. There's no doubt that most of the food lines in the city have been operated by non ties so far. And with the reminder, mitts, masks and meters, wash your hands, wear a mask and keep social distancing. And the Met Office promising highs today of 32, the real feel of 37, dropping down to 27, and a good chance of rain throughout the day with storms late. That is the local and national news from Fab FM. For videos and, of course, to keep up with fabulous Patia, visit alwayspatia.com.